music business is that bad right now, son. Like for real. Y'all gotta go to the extremes of addressing and drag, bruh. Hey girl! <laughs> look at YG, y'all. Look at YG. Part of the hype, man. Look at YG, y'all. Whoa, honey! Look at YG, y'all. Look at YG. Shalom, Shalom, Kahalal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, just giving all praise to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is I Bar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, teaching real well. Peace and salutations to the whole world, like scattered abroad. And real quick, I want to touch on this video you see on the screen with the rapper Tyga and YG dressed in drag. It looked like, you know, some biker gang white ladies for a music video, man. And I want to say this, too, is that this is the love of money, man. The love of money is the root of all evil. And it got it got these so-called rappers, these so-called gangster thugs. You know, YG's supposed to be a blood and whatnot. You know, this supposed to be this, you know, uh, uh, th th this big top, you know, gangster and thug in um, L.A. And this nigga got down the blind wig, man, and some damn makeup. You know, you got people, you got women commenting, and, and uh, they got, you got these women commenting in, 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 in the comment section. Saying how they face is beat and all this, that, and the third. And, you know, these niggas just just wicked, man. You know, and this nigga got all into the character of, you know, a damn white woman, man. You know, just complete foolishness and wickedness. And these are the people that, you know, they, they are setting up for your children to listen to. For You know, it's supposed to be role models for your children and whatnot. Man, this is just some complete total wickedness, man. And this is why you're going to see a lot of people, you know, that's in the spirit of this world, because that's what this is. You know, why we I just went to Kendrick Lamar this week too. Hey man, you, you, these niggas are of this world, and if you and you and the you in the spirit of this world, you're going to wax worse and worse, ultimately to your own destruction. All right, so let's grab some couple of scriptures. I'm on my brick, so I ain't gonna make I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna make this too long. This is um, Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear. So like the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So that's called cross-dressing. And this is what they're, they're doing, man. And Jake has been so simple and so, you know, um, um, dumbed down, you know, that they don't even understand that, 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 that's, that, that that's what you're doing. And this is a sin. You know, in the ancient world, our forefathers knew not to do this, man. They knew this was a, 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 a wicked and abominable thing. They knew this was evil. You know, this is sorcery. This is witchcraft. Okay, a woman ain't supposed to be wearing which pertains unto a man. Nowadays, you got these women wearing pants, which that pertains unto a man. That's why there's a zipper for a man to what, unzip his pants and relieve himself. When a woman goes to use the bathroom, she got to come out of those pants. But nowadays, these women that's wearing these pants, what, what, what kind of spirit are they in? They're in a very masculine spirit. And these men, so-called men, they're wearing these damn, these damn women clothes, skirts and dresses and per perfumes and makeup, you know, fanny packs and shit. And then they're in a very effeminate spirit, man. So this world is backwards. All right, this world is backwards. It says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto Yahweh thy power. So this is an abomination, man. This is an abomination. The Lord is not dealing with this. He, he hates this. This is disgusting to him. Okay? This is disgusting. Disgusting. And as you saw in the video, this is from um the brother J. Mar uh, Marvelous. You know, and it's not, I don't think he, he you know, he know he, He's not an Israelite brother, but he be doing these different, you know, videos on exposing the industry and stuff. And, um, you know, through the spirit of how about you, I, 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 I want to make, you know, my, my lesson shorter, you know, get, getting into these, you know, sh these topics, you know, so I could put more more videos out, you know, just edifying them on, on more topics instead of making these long drawn out lessons. So through the spirit of how about you, I've been, I've been, you know, thinking about that, you know, just making, you know, quick, you know, let these lessons right to the point, you know, because Jake has a short attention span anyways. But, um. This is um First Timothy chapter six and let's go to let's go with um let's go to 
I'm, I'm, I'm going up a little bit. Let's go to verse four. It says he is proud, knoweth, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words wherewith cometh envy, strife, railings, evil summer, um, sir, evil sermonings. It says perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth. A lot of these men are, you know, perverse, you know, and their minds are corrupted, corrupt by who? The devil. Your mind has been corrupted by Esau for, for a grown ass man. And these men got fucking kids, man. You got fucking kids and your kids got to go to school and get harassed by other kids because they father just like a woman, man. This ain't, this, this ain't cute. Your mind has been corrupted by the devil. It says, and a destitute of the truth. You have no truth in you. The, the, the scripture says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. You are destroyed and you're destroying your, your followers. You know, little, little young Israelite kids, you're destroying them to follow the same path, man. Thinking that they got to do all this shit to, to, to get fame. And that's how you know the music industry is failing, man. The music industry is failing. You got niggas as, 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 as Israelites that know they're Israelites and they still trying to be in the music industry. You niggas out of your fucking mind, man. It's over. This, this is what you got to do to stay in that world. It says, supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself. So these niggas of this world, they think that just because you got a lot of money, that that that, that that's godliness. That, that, that you know, that, that this person is, uh, uh, the Lord is dealing with this person. No, just because you have a lot of money, that don't mean the Lord is dealing with you, man. Satan can bless you too. And these blessings these people have gotten, they got it from Satan. That's why they got to do satanic shit like this to get more blessings, man. Okay, the industry is, is you know, that, that, that money ain't coming in like how I used to. So they, so, so these so-called gangster rappers got to do shit like this. You see, and, you know, Tiger didn't even say shit, man. That nigga, you know, these niggas are ashamed, man. They're ashamed. You, your, your, your ass over there wearing pantyhose and you got nuts. Come on, man. Man the fuck up. And that's why a lot of you niggas ain't going to make it, man. And, and we're going to keep talking like this, man. This truth is not for women. This truth is not for some bitch ass niggas either, man. This the Lord. The Lord is dealing with men. He said, uh, "My voice is to the sons of men. The flock of my pastor are men, girded by loins like a man." It says, "But godliness with contentment is great gain." But we brought nothing into this world, and it's certain we can carry nothing out. So don't be trying to, you know, you know, boast yourself on all the shit you got, and and and, and you know, um, trying to gain more. You know, in that covet your spirit, because none of that shit gonna leave with you when when the Lord take you out of here, man. When when when, when it's time to to, to, meet, to meet your maker, none of that shit is going with you, okay? Not the Ferraris, not the damn the, the mansions, not the the jewelry, none of that stuff, man. All that stuff is vanity. And you know what? I used to be you know a part of that that music world, you know, aspiring to be you know um rich and famous and whatnot, more so rich than famous. But at, you know, at a young age, I realized you know that they that that shit was a trap, man. Even that nigga Lil Wayne said, oh, no, this ain't paradise. That nigga Jay-Z said, more money, more problems, man. <laughs> when you get more money, you got you got more problems. Have your ass out here riding through the streets, you know, like this, you know? Supposed to be gangsters and thugs. Niggas, I was on the hood and shit, you know? On, 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 on this and that set, right? This is an embarrassment, man. It says, and having food and raiment, let us be there with content. So if you got food in your mouth, you know, if you got food in your stomach, food in your fridge, you got a roof over your head, you got clothes on your back, be content, man. You don't need a fucking Lambo or, 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 or Ferrari. If you got a damn, you know, a, a Hebrew mobile, a hoopty, whatever, man. America about to be destroyed anyways. There's no reason to be aspiring for all these, you know, vain things in the world that's going to be destroyed anyways, man. It says, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. So you niggas that get that money, you going to fall into temptations and snares, man. The devil going to own your ass, man. The devil will own you. He, oh, the, these niggas are owned by Satan. It says, and into, a, to, into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. This, this is drowning men. And this, look, listen, and, and into foolish and hurtful lusts, which draw men into perdition and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all evil. So not the not, not, not the money itself, which is money is, you know, this ain't even real fucking money. This is, you know, crypto. I mean, um, um, uh, uh like your fake currencies, you know, I forgot, forgot, I've got the word right now. But it says, um, which while some covet it after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. You see, these niggas are, are pierced through this. Oh, thou. Oh, oh, but thou, O oh man of God, you you spiritual men, you men of God, Yahweh y'all shy, flee these things. Trying to be rich and famous and and, and you know uh you know a, a damn rapper, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith, not not of money, 
not of riches, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, man. I'm going to get in over this right here. I got to get back to work. But it says, um, Matthew, or we'll, we'll go to Mark. It says, um, verse, Mark chapter 8, verse 35. For whatsoever, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life for my name's sake, so and whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. So if you gotta, if you're trying to save your life, you're trying to be something in this world, you're gonna lose your life, man. These, these niggas trying to save their life, they're trying to save that money, that fame, you know, that damn status they have in this world, and because of that, they're gonna lose their life, man. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And what, or what shall a man give? What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And a lot of these men have given they 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 uh they they they, they, they damn soul and they whole man that back door. You know these niggas have no type of you know uh 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 uh, uh integrity. Completely gone, completely through. And this is what the Lord going to cause a lot of these men to be destroyed before our eyes, man. You gonna see a lot of these niggas dropping dead. You know these are you know false teachers and false leaders of our people, man. And then they fame these men as as, as the leaders of our people, man. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame, and Shurala, about the bomb, praise God, so edifying, so hopeful, let. I'm going to get back to this damn plantation, and Lord willing, we out of here soon. Kwame, and Shurala, about the ball, Shalom.